Hello friends, this video on locomotion and movement part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us quickly look at the differences between movement and locomotion. I hope you got what is the difference, basic difference between movement and locomotion. So these are some of the points of differences between movement and locomotion. So when I say locomotion, there is a change in location and that is why the name locomotion. You can remember it this way. So that means the entire organism moves from one place to another. Whereas when we talk about movement, it is just a change. It can be a change in location or it can also be a change in posture. Locomotion is the movement of the organism as a whole. So whenever we talk about locomotion, the entire organism, it is not about the part of an organism being moving. We don't care if the hands are moving or the legs are moving. We care only if the entire organism is moving from one place to another. So we talk about the movement of the organism as a whole. Whereas in case of movement, it can be related to specific parts of the organism's body. For example, if the, if the fingers of uh, a person uh, are moving, then we say that there is a movement. So it can be specific parts of the body. Locomotion occurs only at organism level, as I said, for the entire organism. But movement can occur at cellular level, tissue level, organ level or organ system level. For example, when we talk about movement, different organs can move. For example, if your fingers are moving, your say, head is moving from one side to another, your neck is moving, hands are moving, legs are moving, so they are different organs moving. If you talk about the tissue level, for example, inside the body, different organs, for example, heart is moving. That means the tissue or the cells involved with the heart, they are also involved in the beating of the heart. So they are also moving in some respect. For example, the heart beats. Why? Because the cells which form the heart, they are contractile. I mean, they are capable of contraction and expansion. That means at cellular level also, movement take place. So movement can occur at many different levels. All locomotions are movements. This is very, very important. Now, whenever, when I say locomotion, that means the organism is moving from one place to another. So that means whatever is locomotion is definitely a movement because movement is something like the change in position of the organism is also called movement. At the same time, change in a part of the organism is also called movement. So all locomotions are going to be movement. For example, in the previous slide, as I showed you, the person was jogging, but at the same time, he was moving from one place to another. So that was locomotion. So locomotion is All locomotions are definitely movements, but all movements are not locomotions. That's because only those movements where there is a change of place, only they are locomotions. Now, let us look at some of the examples for locomotion in human beings. For example, running, climbing, swimming, walking. Because if you see for each of these activities, you tend to change your place from one place to another. Similarly, if you talk about movement, it can be moving your limbs, moving the jaws, moving your tongue. So if, if you are sitting on a chair and you're moving your tongue, so you are not moving from one place to another. It is just your tongue which is moving. So it is just a part of your body which is moving. So it is a movement and not a locomotion. So let us look at an example here. So here in this picture, you can actually see that the two persons are dancing. So when they are dancing, what do you think? Whether it is movement or it is locomotion. Now when they are dancing, they will definitely be moving from one place to another. They just cannot stand at one place and dance, right? So the way the picture is shown, it shows that they are moving from one place to another. So this would be locomotion. But if you think of a dance where each individual is standing at one point and they are just making movements with their hands and foot, so in that case, they are not moving from one place to another. So that is just movement. So this would be a movement until and unless they are moving from their positions. 
but this would be a location because locomotion because they are moving from one place to another so i think with this discussion the difference between movement and locomotion is clear to you so now we will talk about the organs for movement and locomotion how movement or locomotion take place now the question is we saw that locomotion and movement they are not same they are different from each other so the question is are the organs for locomotion different from the organs of movement so do you have separate organs which help in movement and you have separate organs which help in locomotion for example when you move from one place to another do you need some separate organs and when you move your hands do you need some separate organs so that is the question now now locomotory organs need not be different from those affecting movements the logic is quite simple what is locomotion locomotion is again a type of movement where there is a change in location so basically locomotion is also a type of movement so all those organs or all those parts of the body which help in movements will be helping in locomotion so you don't really need some separate organs to make the organism move from one point to another so the organs for movement as well as locomotion are going to be the same so let us take an example for example in case of paramecium now by now you are aware of all these organisms right so in case of paramecium what happens but which are their organs for locomotion or movement so they have these specialized hair like structures all around their body which are known as cilia so they are very small minute thin hair like structures and they are capable of moving i mean they are just like brushes like how you have a broom have you ever cleaned your house when your house becomes really dirty you have a lot of dust and everything what do you do you take up a broom and just clean it so now if you look at the purpose of these hair like structures how are they they are like broom whenever the, your house gets dirty what do you do you take up the broom and then sweep out the dirt now how do you sweep that out now when you move that broom the broom is made up of these hair like structures thin structures now as they move they take away the dirt along with their movement so similarly is the function of the cilia so these hair like structures they move and they allow this entire organism to move so that is how cilia helps in locomotion that is moving the entire paramecium from one place to another so cilia is a locomotory organ but it also helps in other types of movement in paramecium for example this cilia also helps the food particles which are present outside to enter inside the oral groove of the paramecium because these cilia they move just like the broom they move and let the other small food particles also move along with them and then they propel them to move inside the oral groove of the paramecium so that is how cilia helps in different types of movements as well as it helps in locomotion so this is just an example thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.